Yo, 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 it's your boy Vinny Vidal. Welcome to the RPR show. We got a very special guest here today, Theo Noble. What's what good? up, man? What's good, man? How you doing? I'm doing so well. You Thank- got a completely uh, different look than last time I seen you. Yeah, man. New name, everything. Shit. Like, bro, I. it's been a crazy year for sure. I mean... As you know, like you and I go way back. Like personally, we go like way, For way, sure. way back, right? For so, sure, I mean, man. Yeah. So it's it's cool that you that you'd even ask me to be here. So I really appreciate. No, the thank invitation. you for coming, bro. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Well, you look good, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. I like the mask. <laughs> so what's the reasoning behind it? Uh, be, be like about the mask or like everything, mask particular. The mask. You've uh, completely rebranded. Talk to me about the rebranding. Uh, well, I used to be known as um, Dorian Thorson for a really long time. Um, starting actually, I, I played like a lot of shows. I was building this this brand, at least like in Western Canada. Um, it was actually getting pretty strong. Dorian uh, Thorson brand. Yeah, yeah. Dorian Thorson was was becoming really strong. But then um, I, I came to a crossroads, especially with like the whole COVID situation that we've all been living through. Changed a lot. Changes Changed a lot of people. Exactly. Like this is kind of a time of, it's not really a time of sickness. It's actually a time of healing for a lot of people. Mm, and for I me, feel that. for me, it was a lot of like, I've been dealing with a lot of mental health stuff over the, like the last few years. I don't really like putting it that way. Cause whenever I hear no, that, it is what it is. It bro. is. But I mean, like what this has been is like my own insecurities about my own personal look. And as I'm getting older, this is an opportunity for me to be, say like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I don't want to have to hold back in what I say or hold back in what I post because I don't feel like I don't look good. Like that's been an issue for me for years. But like now this is a way for me to just say, okay, I am not here to be a famous person. I am here to say something that helps other people relate to it. I'm here to be a voice for other people, not just for myself. And I'm trying to remove myself from all of this. <laughs> it's more about the music than anything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and like my my most current project um, that I was going to release under Dorian Thorson, I felt like it was so dark and real into my own mind that I'd never let anyone see before. It was almost too personal for for me to release it under a person, like under my actual name. Do you know what I mean? And like, even for my own day job and stuff, like, I don't do this full time, to be honest, I don't. But um, I found that like some of the things that I really wanted to say and the stories that I wanted to tell, they were too dark for the people who do business with me to be able to hear. Do you know what I mean? Um, the reality, a lot of folks, they don't want to know what what's true. Like where I came from, I mean, the people that I used to roll with, the stories that I've had to like, they're real. That's the thing is there's, there's not very much real in this industry, but like the things that I want to say are real because they made me who I am now. And I know that if I say them, it's not about me. It's about someone else being able to know that they're not alone. That's the main thing. So that's, that's what this all is. So Dorian Thorson is done. Yes. Yes. I put the last song out. Um, I got a music video under the name. Um, it's actually a really dope video. Um, but it's a feature with uh, my brother, uh, Biz. Um, but that's the last song that's going to come out is Dorian Thorson. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. So The Cross, tell me about the why you chose that kind of style. Oh, this? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of variations of this, but the first ones is mainly, uh, well, it's a T for Theo, um, but also the white with the gold in the black is all about being a light in the, upon the darkness, especially for the times that we're living in right now. Um, a lot of my music's super dark to kind of relate with those who are going through that dark time. But really, at the same time, I'm all about letting you know, hey, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, that's part mm. of my story that we can talk about today. But yeah. Nice. So you plan on having like a red mask or a blue mask, or are you just going to keep it that same style, the, the black with the white? It's mainly going to just be different color variations. Um, nice. I got like a red one with white. Um, I got like a white one with black and gold. Uh, I also have a camo green one. Nice. So you switch it up. Switch it up. You got it. But you can't have drinks with this one. Do you plan on having like 
a little <laughs> mouth hole or something. That <laughs> Eventually, it'll probably turn into like a full Magneto thing where like it'll just be this that you can see. Like, wait, it's going to look the same, but like this is the first. This is Mark 1. This is, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Mark 1. You know what I mean? Like, and especially with the COVID, like I was reaching out everyone like, yo, like I need to be able to silk screen some stuff. Um, I need to do like a morph suit mask because this is essentially just a morph suit mask. And, like, and everybody reached out just like, we don't have the materials to do this. So I literally just caved and I did it myself. It looks pretty good, bro. I appreciate it. It looks raw. <laughs> it's, it's raw for now. Hopefully it looks like a million bucks in a little while, but we'll see. No, uh, no, nah, nah, I feel it, man. A little Don't bit go. of gold. Yes, some zoom in on that shit, bro. Look at look at the little gold, you know, the white. Can you it's actually like, see my facial expression under this or what? Not really. It's I think it's dope. Like it's, cheekbones pop out a little bit when you smile, maybe, but um Yeah, bro. Overall, it's a pretty neutral. Yeah. So we don't know how you're feeling if you're if you're mad or you're sad or <laughs> if you're angry. <laughs> yeah, then I'll like I'm not in. I have to like mind. guess almost, you know? Well that's dope. That's dope, man. You can tell from my tone of voice. Yeah, man. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, for sure, bro. So why Theo Noble? Where does that come from? Uh my mother wanted to call me Theo. My dad wanted to call me Dorian. I ended up with Dorian. Um, but it's kind of like a, a, a paying respects to my mother in some way. And then Noble, uh, in my daily life, I just, part of my code of, code of ethics is to be the most noble person that I can because there's just nobody who's like that anymore. It's all yeah. about making money, 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 rip people off and all that. Like, I'm not about that. I just seek to be the most real, noble person that I can be. And the time that I have here is all to be, just treat people with respect. That's the main thing. So, no, and then also, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you all good, bro? <coughs> <laughs> Shit. Do you need some water or what? <coughs> I'm good. That hit really fucking hard. <laughs> Damn, bro. I'm high. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, those were the days. It's been a long time since I've done that. <sighs> Take a second. Yeah, that hit hard. <laughs> So those are the days. Those are the days. Well, you don't you don't do um, paraphernalia. <laughs> paraphernalia. <laughs> I like that term. Um, no, that's good. Uh, it started with uh, marijuana, just recreationally. But like um, my story a long time ago. Like I don't really like to like flex old things, but it's not really like flex, but. Um, I used to, um, I used to roll with a few people um, that got me in a lot of trouble, and I ended up uh, in a dark road that ended me up in rehab. Like I, be, um, long story short, uh, I got really addicted to uh, cocaine and Molly, like the party drug Molly, because mm -hmm. of the lifestyle I was living at the time, and I ended up spending an entire uh, year in rehabilitation. Um, so for me, like, I mean, sure. Once in a while, if I really need to just creatively speaking, I'll take an edible, which is okay. But I mean, like, it's really, really low key. Um, but edible I, as in like, uh, like, yeah, like really low THC. THC. Yeah. yeah THC. Okay. Like I just only started taking them once in a while. Like I, I started with CBD cause I got like crazy anxiety sometimes, but, um, which is a weird thing. That came out of nowhere. Um, anxiety is actually a real thing. I thought it was like, oh man, weak people have anxiety. No, it's actually a serious thing. Um, but yeah, I just don't smoke. I just don't smoke dope anymore. Um, just because it gets me super paranoid and it doesn't help at all. It's not a tool for me. For some people, it totally is, but just for me, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's it's definitely not for everybody. Okay. You got to be willing to uh, understand, you know, what your body likes. And what it doesn't. Exactly. 
the coca was my thing. Yeah. Uh, like I still drink a hell of a lot of Red Bull, which is not healthy for you at all. But um, but yeah, like I think that's got a lot to do with it because marijuana relaxes you. I'm always on a go, 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 get things done all the time. Mm. Right. And when I, when I start to relax and it gets my mind into like, okay, well, what about this? These are the mistakes you made. You pissed her off. Um, this is the way that you, your life is now this, like, it makes me start regretting more, but if I'm constantly going, then it just, I don't deal with all that right away. And I've started to finally deal with that stuff. So that's good. That's good, bro. You're not running away from it. Exactly. Because that's the that's the big thing is that people, you know, have this uh, tendency to run away from things or hide uh, hide what the truth is. Exactly. Like facing reality. Exactly. A lot of people have a hard time facing reality. So it's uh, it's good that, you know, you took that on. And there's nothing better than your natural chemicals, the way God created you. Mm -hmm. Because those chemicals are perfect. But it's very true. But when you keep tampering it with them on a regular day basis, and then you complain why you're depressed. Oh, totally. Yeah, you know, it's because your brain is literally fucked up. Exactly. <laughs> the, the chemical warehouse of your mind is, is tampered with. Exactly. It's not the way you're truly designed. Caffeine is a drug that people don't even think about. But that's a drug too. It is. I'm Very fucking much so. addicted to that drug. You are? I love caffeine. Me too. I didn't think I ever could, and I am. It's the it's the drug of the of the hustler, man. Of the like the go getter, of yeah. the work addict. That's exactly what it is. Workaholic. I mean, in this game, it breeds so many of us. You know what I mean? Like we are just automatically attracted to this because this is probably one of the most difficult industries you could ever be in. It requires a lot of hustle. It does. Absolutely. It really does, man. You need a strong mind. Um, and sometimes you just go into it with a weak mind, but you start getting stronger if you don't ever, you don't ever give up, right? Um, I like that. Exactly. It just makes you stronger. This, this game's made me a stronger person. Um, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Oh, heck no. No, 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 no. So many people want this, and some people get this. And sometimes make it even fat, like further than any of us could really dream of, but they were never prepared for it. And that's when they fall apart. You gotta want it as bad as you wanna breathe. Exactly. Shout out Eric Thomas. What is, is that his name? I think it's Eric Thomas. He Eric made, Thomas? He made that one. He's like, you gotta want it as bad as you wanna breathe. That sounds so familiar, bro. Yeah, bro. man. That's awesome. I, I might like attach that. a link. I might not. Maybe if you like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you do drugs. <laughs> what are you addicted to? Let us know. There's a community out here. You're not alone. You are not alone. You're not alone. And there's a light at the end of the tunnel. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. So with everyone that comes to the <clears throat> RPR show, mm -hmm. we always make them do a little freestyle. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> you know me. I'm like a singer, but I'll, I'll do it, bro. You know me. I got a beat cooked up here for you. Okay. And um, spit what you got. Okay. And Ooh. a there's a click here, and a click there, and then a boom. Okay. Royal Play Records. She said it. Theo Noble. Yeah. Thanks for having me through, bro. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. They never loved the old me Had me feel real lonely Traded my lover for the game Cause I was feeding for the fame, yeah well, Rest in peace to the old me Oh and Don't tell them that I'm so green Yeah They said that I would never change Nah I did it now I'm getting paid, change. yeah Stages made them bands Did all of it without a 
clear cause they all shoot in my back And I can never give a damn what these ass say I got signed to reveal that I'm not even fucking DJ I felt that. <laughs> the old me. Yeah, man. Damn. We're, we're, we're gonna have to flip that into a track, bro. <laughs> you came prepared, bro. Yeah, 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 you got yeah. you got a lot on your sleeve, huh? <laughs> oh man. Shit, bro. That's how it be. Yeah, man. You gotta have a lot, you know, that you just in the bank. Exactly. Uh, you're really good on the spot, bro. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Damn, that was one take. There was no cuts there. You know, not a one one cut. I've Those... been at this for a while, but yeah, man, you, long you... time. But when did you start doing music? Oh, well, I've been playing. I started playing the violin when I was four, and uh, I've been in the game doing this, singing since uh, 2012. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna shout out my brother Joey Styles from a long, long, long time ago. You're the reason why I'm doing this. I owe a lot to you. Um, Joey Styles. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Joey Styles, brother. I know Joey Styles, bro. Yeah, man. Like a long time ago, he brought me, like when I was 18 years old, took me on tour. Um, we actually linked up at the gym one day and uh, he was like, yo, come to my spot. Let's, I was telling him, hey, I'm like a producer. I make music. And he's like, yeah, come to my spot. And then I show him some of the music that I was singing. He's like, excuse my French here. I don't know. Am I allowed to curse or whatever? Yeah, man. And he's like, he's like, Fuck the producing shit. We're making you a mixtape. You're 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 a singer now. We're gonna put a project out. And I was like, damn. Okay, I didn't even know I could sing, but like that's what I was doing. So we went on tour and such, and then um, yeah, I am here. What I'm now. Wow. Yeah, I used to put designs. I put so many designs in Joey's hair, man. Dude, he, he's a good dude. With the barber and with the razor, with the straight edge. I carved a lot of tattoos in that guy, man. Dude, he's like, he's put a lot of people on that a lot of folks don't realize, especially like locally where we're from. Um, he's shown a lot of love. Sugar cane, candy girl, <laughs> yeah, chocolate man. twist, vanilla swirl. Bro, bro, it's crazy. I got like a DM from somebody in Texas and they were like, and I asked them about Joey, like, have you heard? Jo and they're like, yeah, I know that song. Like, dude, he's like known all across the world. We don't even really realize it right here. He's put on for us for a long time. Mm. It's crazy, but the game's changed now. I mean, it's it's different. He's he's. Have you heard any of his recent stuff? I have not actually, bro. dude. Like he's still going hard. Wow, still, he's still that's going good. Hard. Keep I mean, it up, yeah. Like we're totally separate now, but I I, I got to show love to him for sure. For sure, man. Absolutely. For sure, yeah. But yeah, some people do it for fame. Some people do it for money. Some people do it for the love of music. What do you do it for? <laughs> It used to be uh, to get back in my ex. It used to be that, <laughs> to be honest. Damn, you're like, you know, I'm going to start with a diss track. <laughs> no, exactly, dude. It was like, it was so like. So your first I song gave, was a diss track? No, no, no. It wasn't that. I, I'm, let's put it this way. Um, <laughs> I. I <laughs> this game totally wrecked a lot of stuff uh, in that department. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But uh, like for the longest time, it was like, yo, I'm going to just show this woman what you missed out on. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It was like, like that look for at me. a long I upped time. up some levels now. Exactly. But now I don't care. It's like, I got a, I got a good wife at home. Um, uh, I do this for her. Um, I you do, got married. Well, in the eyes of the law, we are, but I'm sure it will happen soon enough. We've been together for eight years, man. Like, she's a good woman. She, she like, dude, if any woman can handle a, their man in this game, they're the strongest person ever. That is facts. You know, like this Cheers is so hard. Cheers to that. I'm going to grab some water. 
And maybe put it, the camera on me so he can, you know, have a drink. No, I'll drink through this. Oh, shit. Look at that, man. Oh, <laughs> shit. Look at that. It's like, it's like a double filter. This this water is already filtered, I believe. Is it real? Yeah, for sure. It has to be fucking yeah. filtered. But they didn't just get it from the ocean, you know, and put it in a bottle. <laughs> well, that's filtered, but now you got your mask. So it's, a, it's COVID friendly, brother. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Two birds, one I stone. I know, I know, right? This guy, wow. A lot of benefits. <laughs> Dude, there's so many benefits to this thing. What other benefits? Uh, I can get old and uh, <laughs> no one notices. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Man, you know, aging is something we all humans have to do, bro. What exactly. do you mean, you know? Exactly. Everyone's going to get old. Yeah, it's it's it's, 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 it's part of true. life, man. It it's shouldn't true. bother anybody. Well, I mean, like, to, to finish up on that fact, like, I can't start with it and say, like, hey, I did this to get back my ex, and then I'm going to have a conversation. I'm going to probably hear about this if I don't finish the end of that. Um, you but, loved her, huh? I mean, everyone's got their first love. I mean, you never can control that one, um, of course. Um, but a lot of my music has been about that and like the growing process. Cause that's something that's so relatable. Do you know what I mean? Like the mm. only reason why I draw back on that, like, dude, that was so long ago. But like the, the reason why. Which, I, who did you love more? Your ex or the one you're with right now? They're different. That's the biggest thing is the one that I I'm with now is so much stronger of a love. It's a, uh, it's something that's, <sighs> there's a difference between puppy love and like really, like, oh, this person's so, like, attractive. I love this person. They're so cool. I've never had anyone care about me this way. And then there's the, I love you because you love me and all of my flaws. Do you know what I mean? We've made it through every dark path that we possibly could go through together. Like, I love the woman that I'm with now because she, she was there taking care of my family when I was in rehab. Like, she was there through everything, man. Like... Shit. Like, we've done everything for each Excuse other. Me. So, I mean, like, there's nothing that will break that. Nothing. Unless she calls it quits and I'll be sad and I'll put out a great album. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You can't let life sometimes stop the creations. Absolutely. You know, and, and the things that you got to do. Absolutely, brother. I mean, and then the reason why I do this now is mainly just because I love music. I love connecting with people on a special level. Mm. it's never about that feeling of like when someone hits you up and they're like yo you made this song and it makes me feel I've never had anyone say honest like I've never heard a song that makes me feel the way that I wish I could talk you know what I mean like I can't say the words you took them right out of my mouth and like you you changed my life like that kind of stuff is powerful it's not just flexing oh heck no I mean that's easy it's so easy but it's, yeah, you gotta be real for sure. Absolutely, brother. Who are some artists you look up to? Uh, now? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say, well, Post Malone, I've been following him since before he put out, Iver like, White Iverson. I mean, like, he's been a huge inspiration to me, too. I mean, like, to me, I, I just like his his flow and everything that he he's worked on. Um, Neo was my biggest yeah, yeah. Uh, Neo and I actually have history, and I'm not gonna go into that. But I mean, like, he's not really on my list anymore because we actually had a little bit of falling out a long while back. But um, uh, yeah. So I guess Neo, Post Malone. I like Saint John. Uh, there's this new guy in the game called Shaker. Uh, he's he's a little low key, but he just got first got his uh, first mill on a song, uh, called Next. And I painted my house during lockdown and i listen to his music on repeat like shakers fire he's great mm. like the actually the beat for uh stage happiness which is my song like the instrumental was created by one of the guys that he rolls with so mm. that's one of the reasons for my new music is like shaker and cobra and uh Psy ghost out of russia shout out Psy, Psy ghost and um a lot of those guys um and Young Venom out of Belgium and those guys, like they're all the people that I that I work with now. I'm like, and that's the kind of stuff that I'm I'm totally vibing with. But like I try to find, oh yeah, Benny Main too. Benny Main's shown me like some cool love as well. Like he's he's from Montreal, but he's like been in the game since like Big Sean and and Black Bear and those guys were were out there. Like he's representing Canada out in LA and like 
like those hey. guys, like all those guys, that's who I want. Like that, that's who I've been striving to sit with on my personal stuff. And then lately I've been doing a lot of EDM. So like this guy. Yeah. EDM, um, especially in that stage happiness. That, that song was very like uh, Tomorrowland vibes. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're talking about Gone, right? Gone. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Gone. Gone's very Tomorrowland vibe. So like I have a whole series of, of music that's coming out with uh, uh, Titus One. So Titus One's a DJ that I met at a show that I did last New Year's and we become just like super close friends. And I, like the, the, the artistry and the process of making music with that man is just so cool because... Um, the original song for for Gone was like literally almost like a the 1975 vibe. Like, you know the, the band? I don't they called the 1975. Anyway, and it, like it was like a super almost a Dell type song. And then he literally took my vocals and turned it into like this big banger, but it still had that essence of like sadness and depression. So what I've been doing with him is I send him these vocal tracks and then he t makes a whole crazy different song, turns the song, flips it a million different ways. Producer shit. Yeah, man. And it's just amazing what he's able to do with it. And once lockdown's done, we're going to do so many amazing things. It's crazy. It is like, crazy how much uh, a producer can do. Having a good producer is key. Absolutely. To making, you know, the, the actual product come to life. Absolutely, bro. So, Yeah. That track was lit. Uh, like what do you think is the most favorite new shit that you have? Uh, favorite new shit? Uh, definitely would be Gone, the one that I released. Like, keep in mind, like, as Theo Noble, I've only put out two songs and I've only been out for like two months. But I have a whole bunch in the bank. Um, my favorite new song is the next one that I'm doing with him. I don't know what we're going to call it yet, but like, <sighs> it's next level shit, brother. I like, can't wait to hear it. Bro, it's it's crazy. He just like he hasn't even sent me the whole song yet. And so like, you're signed under a label. Well, EDM's different than it is for everything else. So like when it when you're an electronic dance music artist, most labels are built as um one genre specific that has a following for that genre. And so many artists are multi genre So what happens is you sign a song to a label. And then the next song, you shop it to other labels. And sometimes you get signed to another one. And if it's a good fit, then it, then it goes. The last song that we did, we signed to Hardwell's. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with DJ Hardwell, but he's been like one of the top DJs in the world for the last 10 years straight. He was part of the big boom in 2013 that made us all love EDM. Um, but we signed to his label for that song. We got support from him, Mike Williams, uh, DJs from Mars. Uh, I know that it's my understanding that uh, that Mousetrap wanted to sign the song and um, Black Hole, which is Tiesto's. But like, it's just crazy because I've been like a hip hop guy forever. And because of electronic dance music, like my voice is being heard in 80 countries around the world. Um, it's just a surreal feeling, man. Because it's just so, it's not about being famous in this genre. It's about like, making music that makes people want to dance but also having a connect. decent following exactly exactly for but like, sure bro. but even like like vocally speaking i try to have some sort of real story but at the same time some consciously they're just dancing their ass off you know what mm. i mean so that's what's so cool about it it's a cool experience so i don't know if you answered that already or not but are you signed under this label like well they own you no no, no, that's what's so beautiful is I'm still independent, but we have that one song that's, song that's signed to them. So they only own that one song. How it's, much of it? Completely? Uh, they own the masters for a year, and then afterwards it's fine. But after a year, it'll probably be dead. <laughs> it's Why do like, you say that? Well, it's a good song. I mean, I'm going to play it at all my shows and everything for sure. But I mean... Like, I don't know. I, I don't agree with that. I think that, you know, songs sometimes have a lot... Like, I still listen to shit that... It's from 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago, bro. That's true. But keep in mind this, is the amount of work that I'm going to be putting out over the next little while, it probably won't even be the biggest song that I put out. You never know. That's the, You never know what the future is going to be. Time will in. tell. Exactly, exactly. But like, to the label, uh, you made a good investment. If that's what you're, you're worried that I'm saying that wasn't a good investment, I'm sure it'll probably live on for a very long time. <laughs> but like... So what is that label even called, bro? They're called Revealed Recordings out of uh, Amsterdam. 
Okay. So they're they're Shit. one of the biggest they're one of the biggest EDM D, uh, labels in the world. How'd they find you? Um, they didn't find me. Actually, I owe this all to Titus One. Um, mainly, I just made the song with him, and he said, "Yo, like Hardwell, you know who Hardwell is? Like, I actually started with EDM music as my as what I was wanting to do. Like, even before I thought it was R and B." Yeah, but here's the funny thing is it's before R&B in high school, I listened to nothing but like Skrillex and Dead Mouse and like uh, Porter Robinson and all these like at the time popping off electronic dance music guys. Because like I graduated in 2012, just so you, you can get a time frame of how old I am now. But I graduated then and that's when EDM was at its peak. Um, so I was listening to a lot of this and I was like, oh man, I, I love... I love music production, so let's get into that. So, like, most of the music that I make, I produce myself. So, like, that's the other thing to know, which is that I do a lot of my own production. But uh, I started listening to Hardwell and um, starting to listen to trap music, like, not the trap that we know now, but, like, the trap EDM stuff. And um, the fact that we were able to sign to one of my biggest inspirations early on in my career's label, that's, like, one of the coolest feelings you never have. It's like, yo, person that you looked up to for the last like 10 years wants you on their their label. And then because you're on that label, everybody that you listen to growing up has heard you before. It's like, what? It's a crazy feeling. It's a completely crazy feeling, man. It's a trip how the universe works sometimes, huh? Absolutely. Law of attraction is a real thing. Law of attraction or God. Yeah. Absolutely. If you focus on one thing enough, you believe it's going to happen, it will happen. Well, I think, you know, God created law of attraction still, Absolutely. but you know, it's uh the universe, it's you get what you give and mm -hmm. you and you give what you get. Oh, no, nah, not really give what you get. You should never give something expecting to receive something. Oh, exactly. I agree but, with that too. But you know, a lot of things can happen in fruition and mm -hmm. it is what it is, man. Absolutely. You, you make your reality sitting at home on a couch hours and hours and expecting the universe just to hand you something, you're delusional, man. It doesn't work that way. Everything doesn't. comes with a product. You know, you receive something by giving out a product or service. Mm -hmm. That's how you get anything. You mm -hmm. can't get anything for free. You know, no. There's nothing. Free, there's free nothing. doesn't exist. Free it's doesn't exist. Free. You do something or you give a service or you give a product that is when you receive something. Exactly. So, respect to you. You put in the work. Because putting in the work is not easy, huh? Putting in the work is not easy. It's, it's so easy to just sit there, watch Netflix, put on YouTube, you know, comfy, nice sweatpants, and just chill. It's really easy. It's not easy to go to the fucking gym. No. It's not easy to go, you know, and put in the work, long ass days of mm -hmm. work. You know, sometimes you don't chill with friends. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy to do that. Well, I mean, like, to make I also, those sacrifices. There's no way that I wouldn't come on here and, and shout you out too. Like, bro, you're grinding like crazy. And I know Thank been, you, bro. I know you've I know you've been grinding. Like I've known you since like at least musically speaking, I've known you since like twenty fifteen. And you've been like putting stuff in the bank. People don't realize how hard you've been working. I'm obviously gonna give you a to give you a pat on the back for that, man. Like, no, bro, I appreciate that for sure, you, you bro. You too. Hard. You've been at this for a while now, too. But um, yeah, it's uh, music is definitely one thing for you, right? You said mm -hmm. you're not you're not doing music full time. Absolutely. What else you do? Uh, like for work? Yeah. Uh, I sell whips. So you don't look at music as work? Uh, it's a part time thing. That's a goal to go full time. Um may happen within the next couple you gotta years. go full time if it is what it is that you want you know exactly you but can't the, have plan b's for all you you can't but the thing is is like when when you got a a house and you got a bunch of things before that comes in you got a lot of responsibilities sometimes it's not all possible to do it full time right away like the goal is to eventually go at that point uh, where we can go full time and I, I like that don't. I like that I like that don't quit your day job <laughs> don't quit your day job until you can pay for it like dude I got like dreams and I got goals that are so big that I got a I've been stacking for years and I ain't I ain't done until I get that Bentley <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Like that that's the goal. That's right? the goal is Bentley. Like, well, no, it's I mean that's just that's one. That's your of dream? The, that's your dream car? Well, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of dream cars. I mean, I know a lot about cars, which is crazy because well, you sell my, cars. It's my job. I have to. But like, um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to own a Bentley. But the there's other things that I'd that I'd be happy with too. But the main thing is, is it's all about being free. Here's here's the one thing that I did want to say on here is like the whole house, cars, all that. That's like the, that's our like our parents' flex, man. Like what the flex is now. Is I don't know about that. You know, sometimes it's nice to have a oh, big ass house too, bro, for your family course. and everyone to enjoy. That's true. That is very true. Like 100%. But here's the biggest flex ever is if you can have all those things and be free at the same time. Debt free, being able to be not having to go to a job you don't like. I, I'm not at that point yet. I'm, I ain't going to lie. You know what I mean? Like that's the one thing about me is I'm yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like the whole goal is to be able to do this music and have a family that I can spend all my other time doing that with. My nighttime is my working time. And then I get to spend, like, I want to be able to be with my kids and not lose every single moment. You know what you I mean? You have like, kids. How many kids I, do you have? I don't have any children yet. Oh, but that's plan. what I'm saying is, like, I'm, I, like, I'm trying to plan this out properly because I don't, like, my dad wasn't around when I was growing up. My mom. But fam, I got to make a point. You can never have enough money. You can never have enough resources to you know have kids you can't there's, ne there's never a perfect number to say okay well you know i want to have 100 g's or whatever like it's never going to be enough oh, what absolutely. i say is just go for it bro yeah it's true i like don't pull out man just go for <laughs> it dude i i i'm not going to say what i was going to say <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be having one of those conversations. Why did you say that on that podcast? Well, I mean, obviously, don't be stupid. Like, you don't just pop babies and no, with anybody, but exactly. you've been with your girl for a while, huh? A long time. How many years now? Eight. Yeah, it's time, bro. It's totally time. I'm ready. I, yeah, while the womb is still baby, fresh. Listen, listen, baby, I'm ready. Let's let's have kids. I'm ready for it. <laughs> you heard it here for, first. I wasn't, I wasn't for a long time, but now <laughs> I've I've been thinking about it. I've been totally. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Well, you heard it. You heard it here first at uh, the RPR show <laughs> and the Vibe Room exclusive. He's ready to have kids. Yeah, the the, the dog trained me how to be a good father. <laughs> I got a really big dog, man, and that that totally warmed me up to it. Fuck, the dog taught you to be a good father. What the fuck? Well, dude, I didn't know whether I was gonna be it. Whether I thought I was like super selfish for the longest time, like. This is probably one of the most selfish things that I did was the music thing. But now it's just because I'm not as, I, I don't have the same. Yeah, but fam, you got to be selfish sometimes in order to take care of anybody else. Exactly. When you're in an airplane, they always make you put your mask on first before you assist others. That's true. So you got to, you got you to, you, you, you come before anybody. How can, how can you help anybody else if you ain't helping yourself first? That's 100% true. And that was the other thing, like that's exactly along the line of what I wanted to say was like, I finally got myself right. I feel like I'm finally getting myself right. And now it's, I think I'd make a good dad. I, <laughs> I think I'd, I think I'd make a great father. I think you would, bro. I think you would. You got, you know, morals. You're not a drug addict. Mm -hmm. You know, you're clean. God's going to bless you, bro. Yeah, Please. <laughs> Theo Noble. Yeah, brother. Where can people follow you, bro? Uh, Instagram, you can find me on Spotify, uh, Deezer, Google Play, YouTube Music. You can find me on Facebook. Um, because of the transition of Dorian Thorson to Theo Noble, um, I've been like trying to get a hold of people at Facebook, but that's impossible. Um, so I still am like labeled as Dorian Thorson, yet I'm Theo Noble now. You can tell. If you look for the face and you type in T H E O. N O B L E world, Theo Noble world, you'll find me. I'm everywhere. He's everywhere. We're going to attach a link too. I'll put it in the bio or in the description. Let me know how you like this guy. Comment what you feel about him. Is he a good guy or not so good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's put me under fire. <laughs> He's a good I, I guy. I do my best, man. I do my best. I give my word. He's a good guy. But let, let me know how you feel about him. What do you think about the mask? <laughs> Does it make me look like a Power Ranger? <laughs> Power Ranger? Oh, I'm Batman. <laughs> That's the other thing too, man, is I really, I really wanted to... 
like this is part of my night job. This is like who I am at night because I'm a totally different person today. So this is kind of like my Batman to Bruce Wayne, mm. not to be corny and like that's the corniest thing I could possibly say. But y- you kind of get the idea. Like this is this is my night thing Horrible. where the real comes out. Okay, you know what I mean. The real comes out in the night. Mm-hmm. Well, give them a follow. And uh, stay tuned for more. Well, thank you for coming, Theo. Yeah, thank you for having me, brother. Theo Noble.